Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Poetry Slam as part of the Ikna Da'wa Conference. Uh, my name is Kashmir Merim and I am one of your hosts for this evening. Um, just a little bit about myself before we get into talking about the actual Poetry Slam and introducing our poets on uh, the virtual platform, alhamdulillah. So I am also a spoken word poet myself. Um, Previously, I performed in a lot of poetry slams and I enjoy performance, but more importantly, I enjoy listening to um, other poets perform. And so I'm really excited for today, uh, inshallah. And um, yeah, and I'm also an author. I have written two books. One is a collection of poetry and the other is uh, a more recent book called The Muslim Woman's Manifesto. It's kind of like a self-help book, but for Muslim women, uh, I specifically tailored it to talking about spiritual issues that we go through. It's very relevant to da'wah and the kinds of things that we are going through in these times of confusion. Um, and yeah, and so uh, that's pretty much my introduction. And I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, who, who also happens to be my sister. Um, and she's also the founder, and we are the co-founders together of a movement called The Strangers. Um, so I'll pass the book over to you, Aisha, and you can um, introduce yourself and also what The Strangers as a project does. Jazak, uh, Jazak sister. Um, so The Strangers is basically an organization. Um, our aim is to clear up misconceptions, revive the message of Islam, and we threw this through um, different means. The main means is through spoken word. Um, we also do other things where, for example, um, you know, uh, writing projects, freedom right projects, um, the Uyghur campaign, etc. If you are interested in finding out more about The Strangers Do, inshallah, all you need to do is go onto our website, which is the strangers, um, the strangers poets dot info. It's very easy. Hopefully you'll be able to get it and um, we will say it again during the session, inshallah. Um, as for myself, I am Aisha and um, my information is on the website as well. And Kashmir Miriam is my sister. I'm really looking forward to this, inshallah. And um, we're going to pass it back on to Kashmir and she's going to go through um, basically uh, the rules and everything. And then the next step, the, the step we've all been waiting for, the poets, inshallah. Yeah, thank you for that, Aisha. So uh, we're going to jump right into the rules, ground rules for the poets and also the judging criteria for us as the judges this time around. Um, because last time, Alhamdulillah, we had a huge lineup and we were very ambitious. We tried to get everyone on, but we went very over time. Um, so this time around, we want to be very strict with our timing and we want to make sure that all our poets have an opportunity to um, come on. And obviously, this is a virtual platform, so we have to... Um, make sure that everything is done in a timely way and we don't have any uh, technical issues, inshallah. So um, we pray that it goes smoothly. Please make a dua for us and also be very supportive throughout all of the poems and, um, you know, as we smoothly move through and transition through all of our performers. Um, so, okay, rules. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Now, for all of the performers who are lined up and who are listening, the rules they have they're already very aware of uh, but for our audience it's pretty simple it's just each performer has up to three minutes for their poem um we let them know when to begin it begins from the first word of their poem and we'll be timing that inshallah the second rule is that we ask that the content of the poem is relevant to the theme of this conference so it's a very general theme you know they have a lot of artistic freedom to talk about islam in a time of confusion you can talk about that way, you can talk about purpose, anything that you think is creatively relevant to the theme. Um, and we will be looking at that when we are, you know, uh, scoring each of our performers, inshallah. Um, and the third one is just a general rule that we just hope that all of our performers understand to be respectful to one another, to, to others who are listening, um, to understand that we may have um, young children uh, also watching who probably should be sleeping by now. Um, but just to keep the content very appropriate, no cursing and, you know, just uh, standard rules of being appropriate. Um, and finally, the judging criteria. So as we all know, every single time judging is probably the hardest thing. And if it were up to me and Aisha, we really wouldn't, we just absolutely try and shy away from the role of, ju of judging. Uh, but this time around, we thought it would be 
better for us to contribute to the judging panel just because it is a virtual platform and it's hard to have so many people and moving parts. Um, and we wanted to offer a fair chance to all of our poets without having necessarily like a ranking order. Um, and we also have opened up the platform. So we have young poets involved too. And that's really important to us because we're trying to have them creatively involved in very, uh, you know, mature and relevant discussions like that one because they offer such a powerful perspective in that. And I think that's important to have them involved. Um, so with that being said, we do ask that, um, you know, in, in terms of the, uh, the, the judging criteria, you know, for this is a, a specific message tailored to the poet. So we ask that number one, that your content is relevant to the theme. That is a, a criteria that we will be looking at when judging. Um, you know, I'm sure that you have a lot of freedom to talk about many things within that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, inshallah. The second thing we will be looking at is your performance and your delivery. Um, so the difference between slam poetry and written poetry, um, or even, uh, you know, like um, reading poetry is very different to, to the culture of performance. And, you know, the delivery, I think, is something that really enhances your poem and your content. It allows for the words that you're speaking or that you had written to connect with the hearts and the, the minds of the people that you are talking to. Um, so just to bear that in mind and to not have to worry about, you know, who, who's watching you and how many people might be seeing you, uh, but to just focus in like as if you're talking to someone in your room that might help you with your performance um, and just to engage with the words that you're saying. That is something that we'll be looking at, inshallah. And the final category that we will be judging on is the audience engagement. So now this is a message specifically for our listeners out there. If you like what you hear, if you have a line or, you know, a poet says a line that resonates with you, we ask that you share your support and your feedback in the comments section. That is something that we will be looking at. Um, it just shows us how much that poem has connected with you. Um, because, you know, as we know, poetry is very subjective. What might resonate with me might, res uh, you know, might not resonate with someone else, but a particular line might strike you in a way that it doesn't strike someone else. So, we do ask that you show your love, you show your support, and again, you'd be respectful in the comment section. And um, that's pretty much it. So we have the grand rule sorted. We have our judging criteria. Um, and just to let our performers know that if they do go over three minutes, you have a grace period of 10 seconds. So after that, we will have to, unfortunately, deduct points. Um, but I'm sure that from, you know, reviewing all of your content upon your, you know, submissions that you just, uh, that all of them should be within that time frame. Um, so without any further ado, we will be introducing. Can I, add, yeah. can I add one, yep. one couple of small things? So, um, as for the three minute grace period, um, now with the, I know that the performers, they might get a little bit nervous, um, but don't worry about it. Just do the best that you can do. If you go over, you go over God willing, you know, that should be fine. Um, and we will definitely, um, don't, it's not it's not the end of the world don't get nervous i can i can already feel the anxiety rising right now don't worry about it uh, that's to our performers now to our audience um now your role as the audience is crucial meaning that whatever you know you what whatever comments that you make whatever likes that you give to the performers um that's going to be heavily taken into account because as we said we don't have any external judges um from my sister and i so um you are also the judges so please 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 take that very seriously as well um sister sidra we're going to welcome her back inshallah and hopefully the connection will be stronger and then we're going to have sister asana come up after inshallah so uh, please sister sidra uh, do go on Assalamu alaikum. I'm so sorry about the connection, but bi'idnillahi ta'ala will be strong this time, inshallah. Um, okay, so I'll start. Uh, the piece is titled, Be a Woman. We are born with eyes full of wonder, a heart full of light, and a soul full of hope. We believe we are beautiful and incredible, absolutely brilliant and unstoppable. To us, each obstacle is surmountable. So we dream dreams filled with magic and futures flirting with hope. We paint murals of love on tight ropes and see life through a kaleidoscope until our rose-tinted glasses break. See, I once was a little girl too. I had hopes and dreams, passion bursting through my seams. I climbed trees and rolled on hills. I had bruised knees and spoke to bees. Free. I believed nothing could stop me. 
until that's exactly what did because over time this light dims this confidence is gone and the days become grim replaced by plucking and tweezing and bleaching and hating and crying slowly dying and slowly dying by satisfying and gratifying the needs and desires of those who do not belong to us of those who do not own us but say they know us so we start measuring our bodies wrapping the measuring tape around and around and around until we get dizzy and it's our own hands that are choking us they whisper in our ears don't you want the world to adore you don't you want them to love you so we try to sculpt our bodies as if we are made of clay pull out pinch and increase decrease sculpting our faces like those on magazines who have altered the way they are seen we so desperately try to change our genes, ungrateful to ourselves and to who we are. We have forgotten that we were born queens. We have forgotten that our Lord has made us perfect just the way we are. But we let society come in between us, took our light and wash us clean, forcing us to fit in or get out. The color of our skin too dark, the hijabs on our head too loud, and the names on our tongues too foreign. If you don't fit in this label, if you can't be categorized, then you are not one of us. Calling us outsiders, coin it weirdo, coin it foreigner, coin it extremist, coin it Muslim woman. Yes, yes, I am a Muslim woman. I do not let society standard define me, refine me, confine me. I teeter totter on the edge of society, running from the labels it has given me. I will never be the one to give in. Standing strong, unapologetic, I know I won't be forgiven. But I can forego society's acceptance as long as I am loved in the eyes of my Lord. So stop desperately trying to erase your genes, holding your breath until you fit into your genes. We, for, we have forgotten that we were born queens. We are not cold-hearted machines. We are warm bodies of beauty and wonder, given all our solutions by our dean, limited by no means, embracing our identity, liberated by our modesty, empowered by our unity, and loved by our Rabbi. That was beautiful, Sidra. I'm so happy that we finally, alhamdulillah, managed to hear the poem in completion. <laughs> and it was definitely worth it. I think you have a beautiful delivery style. I love the fact that you focus in on a lot of the issues that women go through. Oh. Um, you know, especially in this day and age that we live in where like if you log into Instagram, that's all you see, you know, everything is superficiality. Mm -hmm. Everything is beauty, beauty, beauty. And that's all that the industry thrives on, you know, making people feel insecure so that they will turn to products and consumerism mm -hmm. and commercialism. But uh, Jazakallah khair. Um, so Sidra, uh, do you have a social media that people can read or uh, check out more of your poems on i used to um however my book is on amazon it's called wildflowers um i'm working on some new stuff but inshallah in due time i'll have something more up inshallah and what? sister uh, sidra oh. and um for all of our poets performers we're actually going to be sharing the information on our instagram um if you don't have instagram we do have a website and uh, you should be able to see everything that you need on there mm -hmm. inshallah so Sister Sidra, Jazakallah Hayes so much for that. That book is Wild Flowers by yeah. Sidra Afzal and it's yeah. available on Amazon, inshallah. Mm -hmm. So please do order it and support and support your sister. Thank you, Jazakallah Hayes. We are actually going to be wrapping things up, inshallah. And, uh, the content and the relevance of all of the poems and just the diversity that we have in today's um, performance set. So Jazakallah Hayes to everyone from the bottom of our heart as the strangers, as your sisters in Islam and as your fellow poets, we know it's not easy coming on this platform and to share your work that's so personal to you. But um, we hope that our audience also enjoyed it. We'd like to thank everyone. We'd also like to thank Ikna for hosting us on this platform um, and for making this opportunity available to our youth, to our to our whole Ummah. And um, we pray that above all, everyone benefited from it, inshallah. And uh, Jazakallah Khair. Aisha, would you like to add any? to that um yes subhanallah you know i did not expect um the schools to be so close together and it's very important to say it was literally by a decimal point and um subhanallah like it's you were every single one of our poets um your contribution it, you know this whole kind of uh, label of winner here winner there um my sister and i we do personally dislike it but 
the whole kind of uh, feel of competition, it just has to, unfortunately, just requires that, you know. Um, but you all are winners. And I'm not just saying that to sound cliched, but it truly is um, important that you know that, that your, your work and your words have made a difference to someone who is listening out there. And we truly appreciate, especially I'm calling all the way from India, some of you, other people I know that you had um, other engagements as well, but you made the effort to come here, be here, share your message, and it was a beautiful message. Jazakallah uh, so much. And uh, we really hope we can work with you in the future, inshallah, future projects. And um, stay well and stay blessed. Uh, Amin. Amin, okay. And with that, we will close today's session, inshallah. Uh, if you guys would like to check out more of our work again, we will um, post more information on our website and also you can check us out on our Instagram, The Strangers. And um, yeah, and alhamdulillah, today we finished on time. So uh, jazakallah again for watching to all of our performers for Ikna for hosting. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.